Snow Trails TV closed captioning for the hearing impaired is thankfully funded through partnerships with the New York State Snowmobile Association and the International Snowmobile Council. Welcome to the sixth season of Snow Trails TV. Working in cooperation with all organized snowmobiling, representing the snowmobile clubs and the volunteers to promote safe, family recreational snowmobiling. Call your friends and neighbors and let them know Snow Trails TV is on right now on your local PBS station. And remember, snowmobilers, there is no center line and the right side is mine. Snow Trails TV gratefully acknowledges the financial support from underwriters that make this program possible on public broadcasting stations throughout North America. The American Council of Snowmobile Associations is the umbrella organization for organized snowmobiling in the United States. AXA represents over 1.7 million snowmobilers. ISMA is a nonprofit organization which represents the snowmobile manufacturers in promoting safe, responsible snowmobiling. The Canadian Council of Snowmobile Organizations is dedicated to providing leadership and support to organized snowmobiling in Canada. r, &R Trailers is a manufacturer of quality custom aluminum trailers. For dealer information, go to rnrtrailers.com. Hi, I'm Video Mike. I'm out here at Nelson Snow Motion in Greenville, Michigan. It's late August, but we've got snow out here on the Snowcross track. Checking out some of the latest, greatest things on snowmobiling and really getting into the spirit with hundreds of other people that are really ready for summer to end and snowmobiling to start. This week on Snow Trails TV, we're headed out to the Gas Bay Peninsula in Quebec. It's a beautiful trip. It's like someplace I've never been before. Over 20,000 feet in vertical ascent, just going up and down through the sea level. Second part of the show, we're headed out to Heydays, which is the official start of winter and the largest outdoor snowmobile festival that there is. Join us on Snow Trails TV for some great trail riding. Here. Hi, I'm Marie-Pierre Mercier from Quebec Maritime Destination, and you're watching Snow Trail TV. I'm here in Quebec at one of the most wonderful places to snowmobile I've heard, the Gas Bay Peninsula, right along the St. Lawrence Seaway, right? Yes, yeah, right. The St. Lawrence okay. Seaway is all back there. We're gonna follow the whole peninsula right along the coast. I'm here with Marie Pierre. What are we gonna to do today, Marie? We're going to ride in Cap Chat at the Relais Chichoc Saint Octave, but before we'll have lunch in Matan, which is around 60 miles from here. And we'll be driving on trans Quebec number five trail, which is a provincial trail. Excellent, it's a beautiful sunny day. The temps are about Ah, in the mid-twenties, I'm looking forward to a wonderful experience here in Quebec on Snow Trails TV. Let's get out on the trail. We arrived a day earlier at the Mount Jolie Airport and met my friends from the FCMQ. Many times I coordinate a trip with members of the FCMQ which is the organized snowmobiling group in Quebec. This trip, I was riding a Polaris Dragon provided by my friends at the FCMQ. Our riding group consisted of a variety of different riding skill levels. We had a couple of longtime veteran riders from my home state of Michigan named Jimmers and Craig. You will meet them a little later. Then there was Jacques from the Snowmobile Club des Chevaliers, who is guiding our group. Then there are the two women riding with us, Sophie from the FCMQ and Marie Pierre, a Maritime Quebec representative. Then rounding out the video crew with me is Gerb, who is rather new to snowmobiling, but a longtime video producer.
just as expected, the trails and the signage were professionally maintained. And I do have to add the professionals that work these trails are all snowmobile club volunteers from the area. It is trips like this that it can become very easy to forget that the whole trail is not yours to ride. But we have to remember that only the right side is ours. And always be aware of the possibility of oncoming and unexpected traffic. For many years now, I have heard the wonders to be had riding in the Gaspé Peninsula of Quebec. Most of them too good to be true. Over the next couple of days I would see for myself and be able to show you what words cannot describe and really have to work the camera hard to do some of this fantastic lifestyle and remote scenery justice. I spoke with my new snowmobiling friends, Craig and Jimmers, about the differences between riding in Ontario and Quebec, and here's what they had to say about it. Mainly from what I've seen is the, to me, as a person from the United States, it appears to me that most of the snowmobiling people I run into in Ontario have a similar mentality to the United States. The, the, everything seems to be set up in the same fashion. If you go into the province of Quebec, it changes to a French culture and a European type culture. And with that, they're very proud of the language and keeping their French language also with a, with a backing of English. Of course, 20 some odd years ago, English wasn't prevalent in the, uh, as, as frequently spoken in Quebec as it is now. You really will want to schedule a full week of riding to do this right. And it is always possible that a big blizzard will hit overnight and the new snow will be so deep that you will have to wait for the trail groomers to open the trails up in the morning. A storm just like that would sweep through this region on our trip, slowing us way down for a day. But making for some even better riding conditions after the groomers had time to adjust the trails.
For those who ride, you know snowmobiling is great fun. What you probably don't know is that drowning is one of the leading causes of snowmobiling fatalities. When it comes to riding frozen lakes and rivers, always check with locals for ice conditions and know before you go. Traveling on ice can be dangerous. Beware of pressure cracks, thin ice, and open water, and always ride with a buddy. When it comes to ice, if you don't know, don't go. Safe riders, you make snowmobiling safe. All right, okay. Uh, drivers have a safe day and put on a good race like they always do. And from me and the rest of the snow bears, we want to thank you for all you do for us. And the four manufacturers, we want to thank you people for backing us up 100%. Thank you very much. And you go ahead with your dance, Andy. Hi, we're at Hay Days, and you're watching Snow Trails TV. You're watching Snow Trails TV.
just 55 beautiful miles and a little less than two hours of traveling or moving time, and we are ready to have lunch in Matan, a very popular spot among the traveling snowmobilers with several groups coming and going. Matan is less than halfway to our overnight in the heart of the Shikchak Mountains. Matan is located right on the coast of the St. Lawrence Seaway. Having a wonderful day. It's, uh, we're on the St. Lawrence Seaway. We're at Matan, and uh, gonna have a nice lunch here, and then we'll get back on the trail and have another half a day of smooth sailing. First half of the day is very great, gorgeous. We have good condition, very nice temperature. It was a sunny day with blue sky. Good uh, tree conditions also. We left this morning from Angeli and now we're just having lunch in Matam, which is uh, 65 miles from Angeli. And then we'll be riding toward Kepcha at the Relation Shack. It's another 85 miles. Wonderful first half of the day here in Quebec. We're our first half of the day riding here in the Gaspé Peninsula. And we're only 22 feet above sea level right now. We've been as high as 1,000 feet above sea level. And yet here we've done almost 6,000 feet of up and down climbing. Actually, that's kind of all my vertical ascent. I'm here with Marie, Marie Pierre from Maritime Quebec. And uh, how much more riding is like this? What's the rest of the Gaspé Lake here? The Gaspé Peninsula is a huge country for snowmobilers. It's about 800 miles uh, for the Grand Tour of the Gaspé. So it's just the beginning, it's a start. We had very good snow condition today and the rest will be great. So if you like riding something other than flat and straight, we've found something other than flat and straight out here. We're looking forward to get back out on our trails. We've got about another 85 miles to get to where we're going tonight. Where are we going tonight? We're, we're going in saint agla de l'Avenir at the Relais Chic-Choc, which is in the art of the Chic-Choc Mountains. So very breathtaking scenery. Excellent. Let's get back out on the trails on Snow Trails TV at the Gaspé Peninsula. We had just had our third meal now overlooking the waterways. I must admit that I never had to change videotapes as often as I did on this trip. Everywhere I looked was something good to shoot and bring back pretty pictures for us. But a TV show is just so long. And if you want to see more, you will just have to put a trip like this on your to-do list. It may take a couple of years to get a trip like this put together, but well worth it in a lifetime of snowmobiling. It's been a long time since I've had this much fun 
and seen this much scenery snowmobiling. The Gas Bay Peninsula is just awesome. Well, right over here behind my shoulder is the Chick Chack Mountains. So just over there you have the Chick Chack Mountains. That means in Mi'kmaq language, a First Nation tribute, the wall that you cannot penetrate. Our first day of six in the Gas Bay could have easily been done with riding only during the daytime. Shooting Snow Trails TV just takes trail time. With 140 miles and less than five hours of moving time on a GPS, you'll enjoy this ride. Great riding conversations with a European style cuisine was the perfect end to a superb snowmobiling day. We are all looking forward to the rest of the week. Welcome to the Relais Chic Chac saint actard de la ville in Quebec. My name is Pierre, I'm the coordinator here, and you're watching Snow Trail TV. For discounted online video copies and DVDs, you may register for our online tour pass. For additional program information about Snow Trails TV or have future destination suggestions for Snow Trails TV tours, please visit our website at snowtrailstv.com. Hello, my name is Ev Johnson. I come from the Minnesota United Snowmobilers Association and I'm a director in Region 6. Like all recreationalists, we snowmobilers are concerned about safety. We spend a good deal of effort training and encouraging our youth to operate their machines safely. We accept zero tolerance for alcohol and we encourage the obedience toward the speed limits. Dollar values can never replace a life or an injury when it's lost. Think snow and operate your machines safely. Snow Trails TV gratefully acknowledges the financial support from underwriters that make this program possible on public broadcasting stations throughout North America. The American Council of Snowmobile Associations is the umbrella organization for organized snowmobiling in the United States. AXA represents over 1.7 million snowmobilers. ISMA is a nonprofit organization which represents the snowmobile manufacturers in promoting safe, responsible snowmobiling. The Canadian Council of Snowmobile Organizations is dedicated to providing leadership and support to organized snowmobiling in Canada. r, r Trailers is a manufacturer of quality custom aluminum trailers. For dealer information, go to rnrtrailers.com.